Hello, this is the third in our series of GarageBand tutorials. In the second tutorial, we covered how to create a basic song in GarageBand, including a track created from an audio interface. In this tutorial, we will show you how to edit that completed song. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, we have our completed track here ready to be edited. The first thing we will want to do is click on the Show Hide Automation button. When it's in yellow, that indicates that it's on. And what this will do is let you control the volume at different points in the track. So you can click on a certain section of the track and lower and raise the volume of that track. And I'll show you how to do that here. I'm going to allow the track to play while I adjust the volume. What I would like to do first is lower the finger snap track volume slightly when the strings kick in. That way they don't overpower the rest of the song. And the way you want to do this is you select the area on the yellow line, double click it, and raise it and lower it accordingly. And then find the other point that you're looking for and raise and lower that as well. And sort of just find a good balance. Uh, the next thing I want to do is adjust the string volume, the Academy All volume. I'm going to bring that down a little bit as well. Next, I would like to adjust the Jet Fighter volume. I would like to start at a low volume, almost incoherent, and bring it up to a crescendo, and then bring it back down and let it fade out at the very end. As you can see, I am adjusting the points, bringing down the middle just a little bit more, and then increasing right near the end, as high as it can probably go, and then fading out at the end. Now let's listen back to the adjustments that we made. You will also notice that I started to fade out the Academy All volume down right to the end of the song as I'm actually increasing the volume on the Jet Fighter track. And then fading out the Jet Fighter track at the end. Okay, so upon further listen, I noticed that there's a few more adjustments that I would like to make. Um, the first one being in the finger snap track. I would like to lower the volume a little bit further into the track when the strings come in and not have it sort of soften before the strings come in. So I'm going to check that area off and start lowering that down and then do the same at the other end of it. Just bring it down slightly, not too crazy. Next, I would like to trim back the finger snap track slightly before the piano track stops. This can be done with the editors button selected, which is presently open. I briefly mentioned this button in the first tutorial. It is the button that looks like scissors. As you can see in the bottom panel, I have the finger snap track selected, and I'm just clicking and dragging to the left slightly to trim that track back. And lastly, I'd like to make a couple more slight adjustments to the Jet Fighter and the Academy All track. I'm just going to bring the Jet Fighter track up a little bit in the, near the beginning. And then I want to adjust just a little bit the Academy track by fading it out even more a little bit before the track ends and then bringing it up a little bit towards the middle of the track. Just some real fine tune edits. Okay, let's give that a listen.
Okay, sounds great. And we have successfully edited a song in GarageBand. In part four, the final tutorial, I will show you how to share this track with the world outside of GarageBand. And if you would like more in-depth information on GarageBand, you can check out lynda.com. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any other questions, you can contact us at askalibrarian at lists.providence.edu or at dps at providence.edu. Thank you very much.